fuel from a field. What looks like an ordinary brown weed could someday be pumped into your gas tank. This is switchgrass, which can be converted into fuel or power. UT researchers grew this field in Knoxville, and there's the potential for switchgrass to one day be a viable crop for Tennessee. The farmers benefit as they have an entirely new source of income through this entirely new crop. Tennessee seeks to become a national leader in the production of biofuels. Researchers at UT are already working here, part of the Tennessee Biofuels Initiative, a project to reduce our dependence on foreign oil with fuel from the farm. The plan also calls to build a biorefinery plant near Knoxville. The main product here will be grassoline, ethanol derived from plant materials. The goal um, of, the, of, of this uh, pilot scale biorefinery is uh, to produce five million gallons of ethanol per year um, and to, to really emphasize uh, uh, switchgrass. The biofuels initiative anticipates several biorefineries will be built statewide and the economic impact will be huge, especially in rural Tennessee. Millions in tax and ag revenue and lots of jobs. As these plants are constructed, there are jobs created building the plants, jobs created running the plants, jobs created from the uh, co-products and other types of industries that develop around these major biorefineries. Past efforts at producing ethanol mainly used grains and corn, but turning food crops into fuel might increase your grocery bill. Now researchers say biofuels can be made from just about any tree or plant, and we can use the bark, the leaves, several parts of the plant. Many Americans say they're ready for an alternative to foreign oil, and they like the idea that our farmers and landowners could supply the nation's fuel and energy. When it comes to biofuels, the big question many of us have, when? It's not a pie-in-the-sky dream by, by any stretch. It's uh, um, not going to happen next week, but uh, no, it's not 10 years out either. In fact, uh, um, we, feel like, we feel like really uh, oh, two to three years um, to, to refine the technology. It's projected agriculture and forestry could produce as much as 30 percent of the nation's energy by the year 2030. Between now and then, there's important research to do. The future is coming, and it's almost here. This is Chuck Denny reporting.